it's another beautiful day on the new beginning server we've got we've got people playing i've got storage started i've finished my fancy green armor oh it's so good it's so 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 good um yeah i'm really excited welcome back everybody to another episode i've got so much to show you uh that's not where i needed to go there we go uh first up on the list is the big 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 news which is it okay it's big and then i'm gonna explain to you we'll talk about that in a second uh i'm gonna show this to you and then i'm gonna explain to you why it's not terribly important but it is still but not terribly but it is so let's 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 go through shall we okay so as you can see this ain't the nether i mean it is the nether but it's not the normal nether we're on the nether roof i'm sure you're well aware that you can now get on the nether roof it's actually really 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 simple all you do is you um i'm not gonna go through like a full fledged th tutorial and show you but um just so you're aware what you do is you go you know you go down in the in the nether climb as high up as you can go and f3 and there's a thing on f3 that says looking at block and you want the block you're looking at you want to find a block that says y27 the middle number or sorry y127 you want to see a block that has the middle number be uh, 127 then you want to build a ladder going all the way up as far as you can until you hit that that block that's 127 then you throw an ender pearl as you're climbing up like as you're at the tippity top and then you pop up like half in the block half in the roof and then you jump out and you're in it's beautiful it's easy it's simple so we've got a little system going on here where we can put our name or in my case my logo down here is hill dragon we'll go look at his portal in a second he's decorated it up real nice and then i made a spawn what is this what is the i didn't put that there who's messed with my spawn Who's mess with my spawn point thing? So this is cool and all. I'm, I really love the way this looks with the shaders, with that reflection. Oh, it's so slick. What? About, I'm dying to know. What are these blocks over here? Who has done what? Oh, somebody, somebody put some carpet on their path. That's great. What is this? What? Oh, you know what? That was me. My bad. <laughs> that was me. That was me measuring, trying to find the center for the center column. That up there is a bridge. It's a bridge. How cool is that? These are lanterns. That's so neat. Uh, so let's ch go check out Hill Dragon's portal real quick. Oh, I s Wait, why did he put these blocks here? I don't really know. Anyway, so, so Hill Dragon has this like really super tall portal, which is really super cool. Uh, and he's got all the, all the nether bramble going around it uh but what you really want to see is the other side this is dangerous dude this is you're crazy i don't know if anybody else has decorated anything yet so now we're back in his little cave area which he was with somebody down here the other day acting like there was something he didn't want me to see but i think they were just trolling uh, i'm pretty sure of that anyways so uh, let's, uh, I don't want to spend too much time looking at everybody's portals. Um, I got too much to do today. But the reason why this isn't as important now, it is uh, if you want to go somewhere for the first time and you don't quite know the proper coordinates, I guess you could from the map, but, but the, the Y coordinate is always kind of nerve wracking. Hill Dragon figured out how to get waypoints, which, oh, they do work. I did whoa okay but that wasn't right that is not my home coordinate okay i hadn't tried using the waypoint teleport from the nether yet someone told me you could do it i don't know that i'm gonna trust that again because that is that is not where my point should be my point should be like there but anyways back to what i was saying hill dragon found the setting to allow all the other players on the server to use the waypoints which i'm totally cool with you know what we're here to have fun I would rather people be more comfortable going out and exploring and I'd rather have people visiting other people's bases and stuff. Uh, so yeah, which, which is what we have here. Actually, let's, let's talk about that next. 
somebody somebody made my place smell of cheese which I guess I wasn't hungry can you just eat it oh I guess I was just a little tiny bit hungry thank you whoever you are that brought me cheese I think thank you <laughs> So I had that as a gift. This we have already talked about. This was the one from Carter. Um, this is a gift from Raylan. Because at first she was teasing me saying, well, hold on, back up, back up. When I first got here to this bin, it said, hi, take this gift, Raylan. And it said, fix your nasty inventory on a piece of paper. And then there was one that said Shrek. And then there's this one, for the dirt and my attitude. She gave me some diamonds. That's so sweet. And then some saplings I saw you don't have and some random food. Meg, this is fantastic. So this food stuff, listen. Ooh, BLTs are, ooh. Somebody make a BLT shop pronto. I'm gonna be buying these nonstop. So remember how I told you like I was really excited about the farming and the cooking aspect and figuring all that out? Well, I haven't even figured it out yet, but my wife has and like some of the other people have. There's some cool stuff. I had not, I had actually not seen the BLTs yet. My wife made me some quiche, some spinach and something or other quiche. And it was really good and really filling. So everybody's excited about that. So everybody's talking about they're going to make different restaurants, which I think is hilarious. More on the restaurants and the shopping district in just a minute. Um, so yeah. Oh, I'm really excited about these saplings. So yeah, I don't have the pink cherry sapling. And I don't have a banana sapling. That's fantastic. Oh, by the way, speaking of banana saplings, let me show you all. I'm just going to put these over here. I've, I've removed my trees because I've got all that stuff down in that storage area, which I didn't really show you, but it's, it's just a storage area. Not a whole lot to it right now. Uh, but I'm working on getting stuff organized. Thank you very much, Raylan. Um, what was I going to do next? Oh, I needed this down here. And let's eat the cheese, too. Um... I don't remember what I was going to say next. Oh, she also gave me um, a coal generator, a basic crusher, and a basic alloy smelter. And I don't know what to do with those yet. We're not going to do those quite yet. There's cheese everywhere. We're not going to do the, uh, the that stuff just yet. I have one more goodie from somebody that I, I looked at momentarily. And then I thought, oh, no, wait, I want to look at that. Why am I walking like a chump? I want to look at this from Dabble Tana. I've never really tried reading the whole thing. Dabble Tana Tor. Da Belt. Da Da Beltanator. That's what it is. <laughs> A crimson steel bow. So while we were in the nether last episode, which if you haven't watched the last episode, it's classic. It's so good. We had our first nether, our first server wide event going to the nether. Ooh. Oh, and it's already got power four. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. <gasps> That's, I love the red and the green. That looks so good. Oh, I need, I need arrows. There we go. That is awesome. I can't wait to use that. So thank you, the Beltonator. The Beltonator. It's an Inator with belts on it. The belts. Um, okay, what's on, what's next on my list to do? Um, oh, let's look at this book of nature again because I figured out what I need to do. Although I think I still have a question. I can't find a video where someone goes to the page or I can't find even an image of someone looking at the page exactly that I'm looking at but I think I see a problem it may not be a problem so yeah we're supposed to right click items on these things give me that back give me that BLT back on this page and now that I've read it I kind of get it but it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me this is kind of where we left off was ritual of the forest and so you're supposed to put things on these little pedestals. So we need a torch, an apple. We'll get to this bottle thing here in a second. We need a torch, an apple, an iron, and a gold leaf. Well, the gold leaf we can easily get right over here. Actually, let me just break one. Can I just break one? 
Oh, I guess that doesn't work. Never mind, that was a waste. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, and then torch I've got as well. Let's get that down there. I guess I could have chosen to do that after I was out of the water. So the torch, I need the book out. What am I doing? Okay, torch. Look, I'm, I don't. I don't think it matters. I'm just gonna assume that I'm looking at it this way. I don't think that really matters as long as they're in like. Hee hee hee. That's cute. Does it light? No, it doesn't light. Whoops. Whoops. Didn't mean to throw that. Need that. Need that. Bottle blank. Apple. Definitely have some apples. Bottle blank. Apple. And then iron, which I may not have on me. They're in storage. Iron and then leaf down here. Okay. Do I have iron in my backpack? I do. Look at that. Beautiful. Actually, let's get those in my offhand so I can see. Iron there. Okay. Now we need to go make some, make a bottle. I've actually never made bottles in Minecraft. I've never done any sort of potion making. Um, I think I started to, but then I never actually bottled anything. That stuff just, it just it confuses me. Somebody sleep. <laughs> there you go, thank you, Meg. <laughs> So I have sand somewhere. I don't think I've put it in storage. Oh, you know what? I bet there's some in my backpack. There are some. Are some? Is some? There is some sand. There are some sand blocks. Okay, so how do I make a bottle? I don't know. Uh, oh, I've actually got it right here still. Glass, glass, glass. Okay, and then there's something in the book about a bottle with a cork. It says, there's something about um, or a bottling. I don't understand. I'll have to see what that is. Oh, maybe you do that to remove the cork. Okay. Got our bottles. Let's see what this does. Bottle, bottle, oh, bottle and cork. Okay, yeah, see that? Now I see that little square there. So basically what we can do now is we go, whoop, we right click. Woohoo, taste of sunlight. Huzzah. All right, let's make some more of those. Because I'm sure we'll need them. All right, cool. We got three of those now. But there's one little problem still. And I don't know if you saw it. But I'm going to go... What was that noise? Like something was... Like lava was cooling. Um, On that page that showed me where to put stuff, there's another item, but it's like a... It's got the, the canceled, this block doesn't exist picture. Observe. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I don't understand. This one doesn't have it. So... Somebody go look for me, because I don't... I, I'm really confused. So, I've made it that far. We've gotten closer on nature's aura. Uh, what's next on my list? Um. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Somebody wrote in the comments of the last episode, and I haven't even responded to it yet. I've been so busy with the server and stuff that I haven't responded to comments in a while. My apologies. Um, if we go look up, um, what is it? Uh, the next tier. So we, we've got Inferium. That's what we've got now for everything. If we want to make Prudentium, 
Oh, excuse me. There was a burp. If we want to make prudentium, prudent, prudentium, yes, uh, we need prudentium essence. Now, this is as far as I had clicked. I should have clicked one more time because I would have seen to make prudentium essence. At least I don't think I clicked on this. To make prudentium essence, you need a infusion crystal. Okay. See, this is why diamonds are going to be the currency of our shopping district because diamonds are very important. In fact, maybe they're too important. You guys tell me on the server and viewers, what should our shopping district currency be? And, and it could also be just whatever the shop needs or wants for that. Oh my goodness. There's mushroom chests. Those are adorable. Sorry, I just totally got distracted by that. But um, okay, but we can make this. We can go make this. In fact, I may have the stuff to make it with me right now. I have, I have diamonds. I, I don't, I don't necessarily have enough to like make something, but I want to at least do this much. There we go. Yeah, I do. I surely do. So I want to make prudemption. I'm too lazy to do it myself. Um, oh wait, no, that's not what I want. I want to make the infusion crystal crystal boom infusion crystal bam and so now i want to make prudemption Pru prudentium Pru i have the hardest time with that word jeez that gets expensive oh you only need one. Oh, it's got a thousand uses oh <gasps> that's cool Whoa. Oh, I didn't notice that. So it's not that expensive. That's cool. I've never heard of something like that. Huh. Well, let's do it. We should be able to make a, 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 a prudentium chest plate. Go really green on a chest plate, right? Or should we do a pickaxe? Let's do a pickaxe and then we'll give the nose picker 2000 um, to someone on the server. But I don't know who or how we decide. We'll have to have some sort of game or something. Hmm. I'm open to ideas that just hit me. I mean, obviously, that just hit me. All right, let's... I thought I might have diamonds in there. I think they're all down here in storage. We. Oh, yeah, I've expanded this storage in here a bit as well. This is where I'm going to be placing all my fancy and expensive... Ah, there's some diamonds. Good, 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 good. <coughs> Although, actually, do I even need any more of those? Hold on. What am I needing? What am I needing to make? Hold on. Back up. Oh, I need more inferior essence. That's what I need for right now. Let's just get that done, Kyle. One thing at a time. This is my problem with doing this mod pack stuff is I get ahead of myself really bad. What? Why can't I make that? What? Am I missing something? That was weird. I don't know why that wasn't taken. Um, okay, so that's all I can make of those. That's good. Uh, so now, so let's go to Prudent. Okay, we could also, well, I mean, we could also make, what's a Paxel? Is that an ax pick so it does like both, both well, which is cool. Uh, I'm not terribly interested in it. Let's make a Prudentium Ho. <laughs> Oh, there's oh that sword looks different. Ooh. No, I want the pick. I don't know like how much how much better is it? I mean, my thing is I've got I've got this pick that has fortune 2 on it. I don't do I need this? I guess I don't really need this. Better swords I could always use, but that thing's got sharpness four, knockback two, and sweeping edge three. 
axe, I guess. I could go with an axe. Increased mining speed, increased damage. I don't I don't need faster mining speed though. So let's go back to oops, hold on. That wasn't mm, that wasn't right. Okay. Watering can. The helmet looks pretty baller. My helmet doesn't have any none of uh, the only thing that has in, uh, enchantments on my armor are the boots. I don't know if it carries the enchantments over. I don't think it does. <gasps> you can make a furnace that'll cook faster. Ooh. 10 10.5 with sharpness 4. No, I've already decided I didn't want to do that. Staff. Oh, not yet implemented. You can't make that yet. Um, Let's do the helmet. Okay. So, we need Prudentium ingot, which is Prosperity ingot, which I know how to make that with... Okay, got it. And then the same thing with the, with the diamonds. So... So we need, um, uh, how did this one work? Was this like this around iron, which oh, I have that. I wish you could see your backpack while you're crafting. I need to empty some stuff out. Hold on. I know I'm the worst. I'm terrible. Full inventory all the time. Part of this was Carter's fault. He built a thing in my village and was like, Daddy, I thought you'd like this. I'm like, buddy, we've talked about this. You build in your area. Let me build in mine. It's very nice, but it's not what Daddy wants there. <laughs> he means well. Uh, nope, not that. What do we do? Four around it, right? Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to need two of those. No. Yeah, two of those. Because I used the helmet to make it. And so it's two of these and then, whoops, not those, these. So we got two of those and now we need two of those. I love this. I think this is really cool. Uh, ooh, that's not right. Now we take off the helmet. And I'm curious too, what's the, oh, you can't see the durability on these. Awesome, Prudentium helmet. <laughs> oh, it carries over the durability from the previous one. That's a shame. Oops, wrong button. Yes. Very nice, very nice. And now I kind of like don't want to enchant anything. Well, we'll see when I do my boots if it carries over the enchantment. Or if you happen to know. I must, well, if it carried over, listen. If it carries over the, um, if it carries over the durability loss, it should also carry over, um, the enchantments. Just saying. Okay, so next on the list is talk about the shopping district. But before I do that, we need to make something. Boop. Thank you, Mr. Um, Pumpkin. Let's go down to the farm area. And we need to make ourselves... I think this trick still works. That house was too torn apart. Oh, I brought Haas back earlier, by the way, and he wandered while I went to go get a lead because I didn't pick up his lead, but I thought I did. Um, so, folks, there's probably a lead floating around in the desert village if you want to go get it. Um, but he while I went to go get a lead, he wandered off into the apple orchard, and I thought, you know what? He loves apples. Let's let him stay there. So I'm assuming the whole snowman trapped on like a stone block thing still works we're gonna find out um oh yeah obsidian will work it's not really what i wanted but okay get rid of all that stuff don't need it don't need it what else do i need dirt will do for now now i'll do wood 
Oh, I guess wood could work. You don't need it to be stone, but we're going to do this anyways, because that'll look cool. Uh, so let's place. Gosh, I haven't done this in forever. I'm not hitting your hitbox. I'm hitting the snow beneath you. Nope. That doesn't work anymore. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm going to go need to farm some, like, actual snow from the snow biome. Which is where Shukin lives. Um, Sorry, Shukin. So let's head to spawn and talk about what we're going to do for, for a shopping district. And I always get turned around when I come out here. Okay, so. Here's what's going to happen. I've cleared a lot of this land out. A lot of it. Actually, let me go let me go into fly mode. If I can type, I can show you better. Okay. Um, I flattened that area out where there's no leaves. Same with that area. There's an area over there that used to be a big hole. So I've designed up a plan for some roads to run through here and where shops are going to be and stuff. And, um, and yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And actually, no, wait, wait, wait. I don't need to be here. I need to be somewhere else. Let's hop over to, I've got a, um, I've got a copy of this world, um, from about a week ago or so, uh, in single player. And I've done some work in creative because I didn't want to do any work there in the world. Um, I wanted to come over here and kind of like work on my own time and not disturb other people or not have them thinking like, well, what is Kyle working on? What is this? What is this? What is this? Like I wanted to get it settled. So I was working on some road designs and, um, that's what I ended up on. We'll look at it more in a second. But so I was going, I wanted to play with some new blocks. And so I really liked, even though a lot of the purple leaves are, Oh, 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 oh. scratch all that. This is way more important. Look at this. Look at this. This is turf, turf. It looks like grass. This is all I've ever wanted in Minecraft. That honestly makes me want to make the paths out of grass. <laughs> um, but anyways, I liked the marble and the white stained wood, which I haven't done yet, but I, I, it can't be that hard. Someone else mentioned to me that using um, the fossil blocks with a silk touch pick um, has a cool look to it. And I also love the, the, the stepping stones, which they're easy to make. And then of course dirt in there, obviously. Uh, this is a bit more rustic castle looking. Same idea with like the, the this time pebbles like stuck in or whatever. I, I really do like this one. This one's cool, very natural. Again, love the pebbles. This one is the far opposite of that one. But it has charred wood in it, and that's really hard to get because that involves killing some skeleton boss mob that I ain't seen yet. And I don't know where I'm supposed to see it. So I went back to the white, and I really liked the marble. And I've seen some places with a lot of marble. And then I found some picket fences that are made from concrete and I really like that. And then I took the uh, the basalt from the Nether, so I know I can go get that. Because I want to do this in survival. I don't. I don't want to do this in creative. We've done the. We've got the spawn in creative. As far as I'm concerned, that's the only thing that needs to be made um, in creative. And then there's this snow brick. That mixed with the leaves. I wanted it to be very monotone because I wanted people's builds to blend in with the road easily. But so these are magic leaves and frosty blossom leaves. I don't have these, but my wife and son do. So I'm going to go steal some of theirs uh, or get some saplings from them. But then I was working on a design for this lamppost. And then I accidentally clicked the wrong way. And I went, whoa, 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 whoa. What? What if I did that all the way up where I alternated which direction the vertical? I, I love it. It's, it's so whimsical. And then there's a wall up top. So it's vertical slabs. And then this is, uh, this is all like. Well, first of all, the original design here, which I may use, um, not this, is putting the base on the halfway point. How cool is that? But these are snow brick. 
So they're really cheap and easy. It just takes time to get snow. And I thought it was going to be a whole lot easier with the snow golem thing. And I don't know, maybe, maybe there's something, maybe there's something with that shovel. Maybe I need to try a different shovel. I'll play around with it. I love this look though. I think it's going to be really, really slick. So I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to start working on that off camera. And um, I'm also going to start working on my base as soon as I've got the storage done. Um, yeah, we're up to like, I think between, I don't know, oh, between my 12 patrons um, and then their family that's joined us, I think we have a total of like 20 people on the server now. It's crazy. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. And we will see you guys again in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Adios. Goodbye. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I totally forgot to mention because I meant to mention this in the end of the last video, but I just want to point out that in that entire last video when we were all in the nether, I I think some people had some lag, but I think it was their connections or they thought it was their connections. But like, we didn't have any issues. I was expecting with like however many of us there were, I think there were 10 of us that went, eight or 10. I was expecting the server to be laggy or slow or something and Bisect hosting isn't telling me to say this. Um, in fact, they're really, really cool and lax on like how much I need to advertise that they're providing me with stuff and there's a sponsorship deal going on. Like they're really lax about it, which is one of the only reasons I even went with the sponsorship deal. They were like, yeah, just mention it occasionally and have it in the description. And I was like, cool. Like that's awesome of you guys. No one else does that. So everything I'm saying to you is like legit. The server ran great. It has been running great. So, yeah, kudos to Bisect Hosting. They, they got their stuff together.